Good morning my Stitchy friends and welcome to my channel Stitcherella Well we are back on oh, It's Alice in Wonderland Tuesdays Now I just want to have a chat quickly before we start I want to show uh, Leslie and all of you that want to know This is a 90 cent, it's a big project It is 45 by 90 So it's huge now, she likes to roll it up and hold it like this, but it starts hurting your hand. I cannot do that. So I just want to show, say I want to work here, because in the video where I stitch, you can't see exactly what I do. But say I want to work here, I don't roll it up and do that. It's too much in my hand. I go from the bottom and where it's the easiest, even from the top, I just do that and I hold it like this. See? And as you do that, it softens so anywhere you want to work say I want to work here I want to get to this orange part so I just do that and I hold it like that you see so I open the thing let it hang loose and I crumbled it a bit until where I want to be even on the bottom you see say we go yeah yeah where all this is I just do that I pull it down and I go like that it's less tension on your hand and it does not let your hand ache so even if you go from the other side so I don't I really don't roll it and hold it like this the whole time my hand starts cramping up and it just doesn't work for me so I want to show you something else as well um, yeah so that's about it I, I do this this is just because it's so long I'm holding it if I do this and this is uncomfortable I open it it doesn't matter it must become weak in any way softer so I want to show you this. There's been, there's been a lot of conversation about this. The thread organizer. Now, so I want to chat about, about this thing. Now, I love this thing. So first of all, I love holding my threads, but if I overload it, it pops out. So I can't, it always pops out. But I still use it, I love it. There's all my numbers. And then about this needle sticking thing I'm talking about. Okay, so look at this. I always try like this. It doesn't even go in. So you must fiddle and, oh, you see I broke my needle by doing that. That is quite irritating. So it is, it is, I'm so glad the needle, I actually am glad that happened to show you what, what's going on here. So that's not even tight. So I broke a needle by trying to get it in. Um, this is annoying and I really don't like it. So if you play enough and stick it enough, you do get it in. But there I broke a needle just before I want to start. So that annoys me. It's much easier for me to keep it, the threads here and get my pincushion and just stick it in and it's ease and I don't get irritated by this. I didn't expect the needle to break, so by the way, but I'm glad it did. So you can see with what force I'm trying to stick it in there. But in any way, I just wanted to have this quick chat with you, show you what I mean. And I'm going to be back in a second and we're going to start stitching. And I am back. So I just wanted to show you guys what's happening there. So you do get the needle in, but with great difficulty. And I'm not a person that likes to struggle. But in any way, let's start stitching. I decided to work on the eyes. I can work a bit here and there. As you can see, I did... Um, Made a bit, made, made. Huh? Here we go again with my Afrikaans brain. But anyway, I did make some progress. And this one is going to come out. This is a very beautiful cross stitch. I can now see, I'm not even halfway with the eye here. And look at the detail. It is going to be perfect. I can't wait. So let's work a bit on the eyes and see how it goes. I decided to do not big pieces today. So I took out a few colored threads. I threaded my needles already. We can thread some more if we short. But so we can see how this comes out. I just want to finish an eye today to totally see. Yesterday, um, oh, oh, after I stitched, it was on and off. I worked on the 18 count. I did some progress there as well. I am doing progress report every first of the month. Um, but at night time, 
I know the advice I got, put glasses on, put this on. Ladies, I do have glasses on. I do have magnifying glasses, but with the 18 count, I feel like at night time I'm straining myself. So at night time I put it down and I do a bigger, a bigger one, like a smaller count, bigger block. Always get confused by those, or not confused, but I have to explain or to say what I mean. You know, confusing times. All right, so let's go there with this blue one. Let's take a Olympic jump. <laughs> there was also a big um, talk about thread and do you have enough? Let's chat about that a bit. Now, I have never ran. These kits are wonderful. These are specific kits uh, with the nicely printed picture. The colors go up to 50. They are magnificent. They are my favorite kits. I love them. Uh, they never, they, they've got so much extra floss. You don't go and look. I've got drawers full of extra floss. Now, Joy Sunday. I've ran out twice. Luckily, I've got extras everywhere. I've never bought the CXC. So that was also a question. I'll get back to that. Um, Joy Sunday does not give extra floss. I do have left, so that's not what I mean. They don't give in abundance. So when you use Joy, I still jump, but you can see where you've got little floss. So you must use your judgment. Uh, they do not give a lot of extra floss. All these kits that you get the little packet with the toolkit, they've got 30% more floss. So you always have more than enough. Now with Joy Sunday, it's not the case. So you play chicken as far as you can. I still jump, but I play chicken. You must check that you that you don't. Um, if there's one string and you look on your on your canvas and you see, oof, there's lots for that one string. Do not jump. Do not jump too much. Please do not jump too much. Go and look. Use your judgment. Please, 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 please. Another thing that came out was the. Uh, DMC and CXC. Now this floss is not the same. They plus minus the same color. DMC is the original floss and, and don't worry if if Joy Sunday made it, they tell you it's DMC, it's not. It's CXC floss and it's not like the original DMC and the colors are slightly different, some are exactly the same. So yes, that, that's about the floss. Another one was May the Enjoy Sunday. My Stitchy family, the same company print them. It's the, just the place that sells them, that puts a brand on them. Same exactly factory prints them, so be careful with your floss. There was another topic that came up. These kids do have more colors than Mayan store on AliExpress. Mayan store on AliExpress's colors, they do not give you as many colors as this specific brand with the printed photo. They, I've, I've never, most of these, the new ones, if they've got a lot of colors in, you get 50 colors. Um, I bought, I saw one of my fellow YouTubers, she bought exactly the same fairy as me. She bought it from Mayan store. She got, I think, 38 or 40 colors, and I had 50 colors in mine. So, no, it's not always better to, to do that. So, yeah, the, the, these ones do have more colors, and the more colors you have, the better the picture looks. That's facts. And it's not because I'm guessing, I've got experience, I've seen it, I've done it, I know. Now I've got some news here. I have email pay, I'm gonna, bleh, bleh, you see, tongue twister, I have emailed paint some way. Because guess what I saw this morning? You guys are gonna freak out. Because it feels like we've won. I am so, so happy, and I know you're burning in anticipation, <laughs> that's the idea. Now, I'm doing some unboxings, we've got those holidays in between this week, next week, so I don't know if it's this week or next week, 
but the unboxings unboxings are going to start and there's going to be many now one of these companies are also a big company it's called fan cells now let me tell you something this morning when i woke up they started under the cross stitch. If it's a DIY, they tell you. I can hear everyone screaming, yay, jumping of joy. Well, I was. So they mark it if it's a DIY. Now you can see what's DIY. I'm sure the other big stores will follow. And I am almost sure that Paint Some Way will do the, song, uh, the same because they're a big, big, big shop. Um, yes. You can now see if it's a DIY. You can't explain the excitement that went through me when I saw that this morning. Uh, the guy I'm working with there is very, very nice. So they sent me products for three videos. And I am, I promise you, in ecstasy. I just, I'm so happy. So when you choose something at fan sales, at the moment, I'm sure the other shop will do it as well. If you choose something at fan cells, you can see if it's a DIY. How fantastic is that, ladies and gentlemen? But yo, that was very excited for me, exciting for me. Like other people wake up, they read the paper. This is how I wake up. I wake up because I pull my kids' school clothing right. I gel my son's hair. I greet them, I, talk, I just make sure everything's ready for school, my, my husband drops them off. So when they leave, I get back into bed with a cup of coffee that my husband gave me before he went. I put my TV in the background and I start browsing the shops, all the shops, cross-stitch shops for new cross-stitches or changes that they've made to their sites. Now that's how I start my mornings because that's like the daily news to me. So that was excellent, excellent, excellent news today. And it's big news. I am sure all of you are going to appreciate that bit. But in any way, tell me what you think. Are you happy? Well, I can tell you I am super duper stoked. I'm so happy I can't contain it. <laughs> yeah well that that was it's been begging and asking for for years now and now we're gonna have the option i always email it just slept for for them as well i think to keep continue checking 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 rather just mark it diy cross stitch so you can open it now go and look go and look at the stuff you open it underneath <coughs> on the fan cell side it will say DIY cross stitch brand. Yes. So that was my excitement for the day. <laughs> you see, cross stitch and everything cross stitch makes me extremely happy and excited. That is a big, big step forward. I'm still working on this eye. I'm jumping around like I just don't care. And just make sure my tension is right. Look, I am fumbling this up. No pain in the hand. I don't even feel I'm holding this, Leslie. Uh, Leslie and Liz are also very fast stitchers. The top stitching, fast stitching, they... I like chatting to them as well. They, they stitch very fast. For me, it's not about fast stitching. And if you talk to someone that also is fast stitch, it's not because you're in a hurry or you're not enjoying yourself. That is just the way I stitch. I enjoy it the same as everyone else. I don't hurry. That is my way. I've never even realized I stitch fast until people told me I do. And then I got that questions about, do you enjoy it? Are you in a hurry? No, I'm not in a hurry. Yes, I enjoy it. It's just the way I stitch. If you follow my videos, you will see it's only with top stitching and without a hoop or frame. You can't stitch that fast because it's basically like sewing. Um, you can't stitch that fast in a hoop or frame. Uh, I just go on the pace that's comfy for me and that I like it. So 
all the questions is no that is normal to me and that's the way i enjoy it i've never even recognized or realized it until i was told so you know but in any way so we're still covering this pink little thingies and as you can see today i'm not th finishing my threads probably break another needle trying to get it in the thread organizer but in any way i do not like to struggle do you it's ridiculous so i'll rather it's a very very nice thing i adore that thing but struggling with it no but we'll see with the pin cushion marathon then you're gonna see what i talk about it's easy you just pin it in in afrikaans we call it on so you just pin it in there and it's go it's no it's not frustrating it's no struggling it's just do 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 done and that's how I like my things. I don't like to struggle at all. It's such a mission. I actually had a fright when that needle broke earlier on when I showed you what I mean. But I'm glad it happened. Because it's frustrating. That's how hard you struggle. I know people say, stick it, stick it. It means pin, pin. It, um, push it into it and push it and push it. And so Why? Why should I? It should work from the start. I'll rather use something else than that just to organize the threads. And another thing, that's that's one downside about it. But don't, I'm not bad-mouthing this product. I love this product. The other thing that irritates me a bit is the amount of floss it can hold. It can't, you must reload it the whole time. I like things easy. If you know me, you know that. I like things to be very easy and I don't like to have a mission. I want to stitch. I don't want to spend my time in making threads pretty. No. I want to stitch. That's the whole idea. That's my tools to stitch with. But I don't want to spend hours to do that. Grab them and stitch, stitch, stitch. That hours could have taken me a whole block further in, in the stitching. So that's all the little pink circles covered. Let's get that thing here. I'll do it in front of you today. And if it breaks again, I'm going to cry, okay? Um, I think that is fair. Okay, so let's try this now. Uh, I'm gonna break the needle again and now it's skew and it's still it's loose, it falls out like that. You, it's still too loose, it's gonna just bump out. You see this it's just annoying. It plays with my patience. Oh no, that's gonna break. Okay, there you go. You, you see what I mean? I just want, I, no. I'll rather use my little pin cushion I was talking about. I'm sorry. Alrighty then, let's see which needles are loaded. Ah, I'm going to do this one upside down. I'm not going to, going to faff with it. Okay, that will be number eight, the pink little ones, number eight. Oh, this one I saw pushed into the plastic. <laughs> oh, if you can't beat them, join them, eh? Yeah, okay. So now we're skipping over to the pink ones. I fucking, I'm moving around so much. So if I edit this video and there's little pieces that's going out of the window, I'm so sorry. I am also still learning and I, every time I say I won't do that, I won't do it, but it happens because it just happens. That's why, because. <laughs> Alrighty then, let's look for those little pink ones. I'm working with a dark grey now. I think we're going to need to cut that off. This morning I can't find my other scissors. It's somewhere in my organized mess. But I know what's going on there. I just don't know where's my scissors. Might be under the bed. I don't know. Alrighty then. Do this. Yeah, I can't get over my excitement about this fan sales thing. Guys, must go and have a look. Tell me what you think. I'm just super stoked. Tomorrow is the kids' last day of school for five days, so they have an extra long weekend. So you can imagine the excitement this morning. It's like, yay! Only one day left, then we've got a very long holiday, and they just came back from holiday. 
Yes, that's my kids for you. What did I do here now? Another boo boo. Right, let's fix it. Wrong hole. But the wrong holes won't stop me. God. Yeah, the excitement today was. No, I made a boo boo. Just let me take this out. I sticked it in the wrong place. Today is a, a cool morning. It's cool again and it's a bit cloudy. Don't know if it will blow over. So I decided to make vegetable soup tonight. I know we call it vegetable soup, but it's not totally vegetable soup. It's an adjusted vegetable soup. Must I tell you what I put in it? Now, I'm going to also tell you what we eat with it. Now, I do, it's a pack, it's two packs of uh, mixed vegetables. There's a carrot and radish. And there is some green leafy, leafy stuff and parsley. I think, oh yeah, and I um, put blocks of potatoes in and onion. What else goes into that vegetable? What, what, uh, what, just hold on, sorry. Um, Mike, what other vegetables is in that little packs we buy? I mentioned onion, I mentioned carrot and the parsley and what else is in there? Radish. There's a radish, I've mentioned that. But in any way, you grate this all celery. up. Sorry? Celery. Oh, there's celery in? Oh, shame. He went looking for me now. Spring onion. And spring onion. He's <laughs> yelling it out of the kitchen for me. Okay, so spring onion. So you cut up potato mm. and you cut up normal white onion, strong onion. In small pieces, you boil all those things together with a packet of mince of the, ah, 700 grams because I make a lot. So you boil it and you, and you boil some mince with it and a half a pack of macaroni. So that makes the best vegetable soup. You boil it, you put salt and pepper, and I put normally oregano. I put a bit of Italian spice in it. And what I do then is I mix in a packet or two of oxtail soup, Prada soup. Yes, and boil all of that together. So we, I don't know how you eat it in your country, but we eat bread with soup. But my family eats clean bread. What I do is I take, they eat slices of bread with it. I like to, and I, I know it's strange, but it's nice, try it. I take uh, uh, two, two slices of bread and then I put tomato and onion on top with lots of salt and pepper and I eat that with my soup. So it is delicious. Tonight is soup night. I make all kinds of soups. At least this morning I'm not so by fevery. So that is dinner sorted. Ah, is that not the art is? Here you go, fixing the little ones of the grey. Wonder if there's more here now that I skip. Now, it's just this one. You see, to go to the other eye is to, uh, that is too far of a jump. Way too far. Oh, I found one. But to jump to the other side, no, that's not one. To jump to the other side of the eye, no problem. So now I'm finished with the grey, yeah. Now I'm gonna go to the other side. There you go. And look, look Leslie, <laughs> I just do this. There you go. And it becomes easier when the material is softer. What? Much easier. My material is softening oh. now. Now there is too much. Then I go from this way because then I've got less material mine. And then I go there. So let's see. Uh, there you are. 
Uh, then pick that up, that's naughty. Very still naughty, there you go. What's going on with me? Letting things fall. So I can't wait for stuff to arrive, Stitchy family. I'm in the mood for some presents, some gifts. My, <laughs> I see them as gifts, all my Stitchy mail coming. I just want to do some unboxings now. I think it's time. I feel, I feel like I'm having unboxing withdrawal. Yes. And they all, there's a few of them. There's, there's a lot, but I think four or five of them are showing international shipping. So normally it showed yesterday. Normally when it shows that it's two days, then it's here. It goes to customs. It goes through all that kind of stuff. It's, if it lands here, you wait between three and five days. But today it's supposed to land. And one of those parcels is fan cells. One is Biggest Crop, one is VIP Cross Stitch, one is JB FKE. Uh, who am I forgetting? Yeah, I'm not forgetting no one. The other ones are still processing. Let's jump to the bottom. Olympic jump. Now jump about, let's see how much it is. Just for interest sake. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I jumped 12. That's not even far. Might be far for some people, but it's not far for me. It doesn't bug me at all. I'm hearing that my husband is making, I'm sick to him if he makes again, I want tea. So I can hear, I can hear something going on. Okay, where is another one I can close up? There you go. There's one. Yes, he's making tea. Yay. Yeah, this eyes are taking shape. I did take more colors out so we can put more in. I think I took the green ones and the red X's. Oh, we must see. It's not a problem loading more up so we can get more done. But I must say, this is going to be a very beautiful project. It's coming out very well. That's why I'm saying that. Uh, it must just be put together to totally see what I mean. Thank you, Annie. I just told all my Stitchy family, you're on your way, look at this. Da -da -da -da, my 500 ml cup full of warm tea. Thank you. Oh, that is so nice. I love rooibos tea. Okay. Uh, excuse me. I already had two cups of coffee today. And I was thinking, what am I, am I just going to stitch, start stitching and, and carry on? And then I thought, no, wait a bit, let's chat a bit about that thread organizer. Now I was busy with the pink ones, is that it? Done. I think so, right? No, I'm right, it's gone. We're done with that. And now we can carry on, I think we've got one left. Let me ah, oh, there's one. I thought I was on my way somewhere. Where is it? It's hiding here. Okay. I could go at it. There you go. And we are done with the pink ones. Let's see what we've got next. I do cut it because I see if I don't cut it then I work it into the, and it comes out in front and oh, that's another no annoying situation I promise you. Okay, let's work with this again. I've set everything so close to me. Okay, so let's, you see it falls out. This one's out already. It is annoying. Now this one's out. And I've Try my best not to. I'm going to stick it in the wrong wonky, but it's okay because it irritates me when he does that. 
Alrighty then, let's see what is number six. So I must check a bit. I took it out before the time. I don't waste too much time on it. Oh, that's the red buckies, is number six. So let's, let's do that. Alright, let's carry on. Now, am I wrong or am I wrong here? No, I'm not wrong. But where is this? Oh, it's because it's so little. It's not that little, but they're going to make a difference. It's the most beautiful blue, this. Okay, let's see here. There's one. Slowly but steadily, everything is getting closed. And we can see the effect on the eye. Very, very pretty. Ooh, problematic. Okay, let's try again. Let's break it through and push it to come out. Uh, this morning I was eyeballing that Christmas tree in my cart again. I'm gonna have to wait till next month. But it's so beautiful. Oh my soul, that Christmas, that 16 count Christmas tree. It is such a beautiful, beautiful masterpiece. I can't wait to get that thing. Okay, so I'm going to look like a yeah. Uh -uh. Not tight enough. Something not tight. There you go. Fixed. So I'll have to fix it immediately because it's more work to fix it later. Now we're off to a good start again. And this goes up and down. So what I'm going to do, this one go up and then jump down. See the eyes coming together here. Oh. We'll show it closer now when we, when we stop. So you can have a better look. This is a nice cross stitch. I might just frame this one. I always say that until the next one. <laughs> the fickle mess. I want to leave that one. Oh no, I don't want to leave that one open. There is one on the bottom. Is there one top? No, I'm going to have to. I make myself pathways. If I know I'm going to jump, I leave stitches open so that when I jump, there's a uh, few stitches that I can pick up so the line is not that long. There you go. Sometimes you can do that. Sometimes it's not possible. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, there we go. Yeah, with every color, this eye gets better. Um, I must say, I really love doing this, Alice. A very very nice stitch it's easy it's just nice perfectly printed Feels like I've got a bib on. <laughs> so I need to go underneath to find the spot properly. Alrighty then, there we go. This one must be closed and now we go to the bottom. What are you up to this morning? Still very early, yeah? got to it early today not always the case I do it in my phone shot when we are done sometimes I do it in load training but it takes longer to download to 
Today the doves is not even outside. I can hear chirping of birds, but not the normal. It's very cloudy. And yes, I did hear Hardy Dust just now. I don't know if you heard them in the background, but I did hear the Hardy Dust. Luckily not in my yard, that was far away so they can go, go poop somewhere else. The elephant pooping birds. Alrighty then, let me see if I can find more red Pac-Man mouse. Nope. Next eye. Hehe. <laughs> I'm telling you something. I'm telling you guys basically everything. <laughs> this morning I got a collab from a company. If I'm not going to say names. And I said okay. Uh, send me stuff so I can see what you've got. And of course they saw I've got a cross-stitch channel. So <laughs> you know what they sent me. Um, the three dollar diamond dots that... that I don't mind, it, it's, but I'm not going to do that, so yes, we'll see what becomes of that because I did choose other products and I sent it to them and said I am willing to review these because I'm a cross-stitch channel, that, that's what I do, cross-stitch, yes. Okay, let's close these red Pac-Man mouths. This is Pac-Man running the other way. Uh, in any case, only his mouth then. <laughs> Excuse me. In this kind of, in uh, mathematics, this little uh, symbol that I'm talking about is actually the less than or greater than symbol. For Afrikaans people is groter as of kleiner as teken. So it's, it's actually that. I just like calling it the Pac-Man symbol. Symbols are very clear on this specific stitch. Very, very nice and easy stitch. Very nice and easy. Lots of people will call this uh, confetti. Um... No, not for me. This is still easy. Very easy. I've met. I have met confetti before. <laughs> Mr. Mrs. Confetti. And this is nothing. This is easy flow. <laughs> Alright, let's go down to that Pac-Man mouth. And... Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm trying. There you go. It was half a Olympic jump. Yes. Give me more Pac Mans. Yes, there is. That's right. So this is coming along nicely. Glad today I showed you a bit where I don't work blank pieces. There's big pieces here. But I just decided to show you how to handle this, well, I handle the eyes. I think it's not bad. Go up here. Closing it down. I think there's a few more on the other top side, on that side. We'll check it out. Excuse me. There you go. So let's just check if there's the they are. I thought there is. There's four five left here in the eye. It's looking good so far. Ugh. Let's actually open that thing. It's easier to handle it when it's open. It's not me, it's the couch. Couch are making weird noises because I'm pulling my arm up and down here and the leather couch. <laughs> no, no, you think I'm doing something else here. No, it's the, the couch making weird noises. No farting going on here. <laughs> there you go. I think we got all the Pac-Mans. 
Let me check it out. Yes, we got them. Let's end this off. And let's go to another one. See my jumping spider webs here? They don't bug me and they're not bumpy clumpy, so that's good. I'm gonna put this one back. Uh, let's see what was the Spider Man's. Spider Man, oh my word. <laughs> Pac Man. What am I thinking? Okay, that was number six. Well, let's fight with this thing again. I'm putting it in the wrong way. It's the only way that I don't struggle. So I still struggle. I just ruin it by doing this. I'm just doing this for this video. I'm not doing this again. I'm just breaking my thing because I'm ruining the sides. Um, okay, what do we have left here that I took out to work with? There's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. What is 11? 11 is the green one. So I took 11 out. Yes, there is a whole one for the green ones. Okay, let's cover the green ones as well. That was a nice one. There you go. And we off again. There you go. I'm, I'm very happy it comes out like this. When you go to the eyes and they come out well, you're excited for the whole project because you know there's definition and it looks good and it's just nice. But I did not expect this pro project to have any problems. Because it is 90 centimeters, it's huge. And it's very well printed. And it's got 50 colors. So, yeah, you cannot go wrong with this one. Not at all. It is magnificent. Let me see the, the green one. I'm just looking for all the green little ones. Ooh, sorry about that. My ooh. <laughs> I'm pulling and it just gave me some breaks there. But That's why I went ooh. There you go. Um, there's, there's quite a few green ones here. I thought there's a little, so this is going to cover quite a bit. Let me go up. It's now, I'm counting. If I go up and I must come down again, I count how many half stitches I do. Because otherwise, if I come back, I can skip. There's two that must be filled in three. And we add four. Now, four I'm going to finish. Now, I know when I go back, there must be three that I must finish. Otherwise, you know why I started doing this? Because I do it often and then sometimes I go back and I get off stitches that I must fill in because I skip them. So now, when it's finished, I know there is three that I must go back on. It's just a personal thing. You don't have to do it, but I do count them because when I wash or when I check, I st in, the, in the past, not now anymore. Um, then I know. So look, I've covered one and I know I had to cover three and I know there's two left. So there, I cover that one and I know I've got one left to cover and I know I have not skipped a thing. It's just a personal thing. Maybe it helps you too. Maybe a tip for you if you, if you also find that if you go up and you come down again, you skip some of them. Um... It's easy to do it, don't ever say never, it happens. So I prefer to count how many I left undone. And then I know for a fact when I come back, oh, I missed one or oh, I got them all. There you go. Yo, this green is actually covering quite a bit. The, the, this blue on this green ones. I didn't realize there's so many of them. I'm quite happy. Happy, happy, happy. Ooh. There you go. Cover this one. Now oh, this is looking good. Very happy that there's so many of them. 
Let's see what's going on here. I cannot see that blue. Now, the problem is there is a little thing here that's bugging me. But I've got the blue ones and the green ones next to each other. And you can't see properly which one, but, but I'm in very bright light so I can film. I can't distinguish. Okay, it's blue. It's blue. There's a green one. It's just the way the light fell on my canvas, so erase that. There's no problem. I just had very bright light on it, and I thought, oh no, confusing symbols. But no, I lied. Sorry. No confusing symbols. It's just a sunnet thing. <laughs> oh well, I'm human, eh? Can make mistakes, get angry, break needles. Stitch further, be happy. <laughs> yes, that's my life. There you go. So I'm almost done with all that. There's about 10 left here. There's, oh, there's almost, almost done with the ones on this side. And then I want to finish the ones on the other side here. Always excited, like I said yesterday, when things start showing, uh, when you when you start seeing what you're doing, it is exciting and it's nice, and I love that stage of the things. All row, I must go back on and just do the whole stitch down. I know about that. I'm trying to do all this difficult angles with my arms so you can see what I do. Ridiculous me. There we go. And it's closed. Let me just check if I have any green ones missing. No. Green finished on this eye. I think it looks great. It's my opinion. You can tell me what you think. But for 11 gun, this one's going to come out very good. So let's go over to the other one, see if it's got so many ones. Uh, not so many, but enough to show the difference. Look, I just grab my, my, my cloth and I do that. There we go. Are we off to a good start? No problems at all all so today was a very so far it's a very relaxing recording i wish you guys were sitting right here drinking tea with me and i actually really wish you guys stayed closer i would have enjoyed that very very much there you go oh that tea is so good So there's a few of them here, yeah, not a lot. Close them up. Uh, please don't forget to show you my, show you my, oh my soul. Please show me your progress on my Facebook page, Stitcherella Stamp Cross Stitch Group. You guys, that's there. No, we chat and we, it's a very nice place. We're all friends and family there. But it is a stamped cross stitch group, not counted. Sorry, girls. Okay, there you go. All the new viewers, please like and subscribe to my channel. I will really appreciate that. It keeps me going and it keeps me going knowing that you're watching my channel. Thank you for that. Excuse me. Oh, the sneeze wants to come, but I keep it in. It's ridiculous, right? Uh, say. Now the eyes are coming along very, very nicely. I am very, very, very happy with it.
Here's the small one, here's the easier. I just want to see if it goes up, down, okay. Oh, the couch makes noises. Here go. Excuse me once again. I think there's only two left here. Yeah? One, and then I just want to check it. I want to show you how far we got here. It's actually very pretty. Okay, let's end this off and let's show you what's going on here. If I edit the video and the picture goes out of focus and you can't see properly, I will, after the thank you note, Leave pictures like normally. I always do. You that are following me, you know that. Okay, let's cut this off and show you what's cooking. Sorry, I always put... It's such a bad habit. I put my needle in my mouth. It's horrible. But I still do it, so sorry. <laughs> Alright, this is how far we got. I am going to take a picture to show you exactly. I'm going to move this eye around so that... Um, for in case I edit it out or not correct, then you can see how far the eyes came, got, what, whatever, how far I got with the eyes. There you go. But they look good. I personally think they look good. So I will, I will, I will put a picture here. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you had a, a nice time. And I will see you again tomorrow. Have a lovely, lovely evening, day, morning, wherever you are. Lots of love, Stitcherella.